One morning we just wake up and we first get an email saying that um, crowds more than 25 people are not permitted uh, for health reasons uh, and classes will slowly move online. And shortly after we just get an email saying that um, we have to evacuate the campus by uh, Sunday 5 p.m. I know that a lot of classes are still holding exams when the students have to be in their dorms and pack their stuffs and buy their tickets and you know just deal with this whole stress so it's not only about moving out it's just the stress of college on the top of this new situation Two of my classes um, um, are studio classes, um, so I'm doing a painting class and we had four hours of painting every week in the studio. Um, and so I just don't know how um, I'll be able to do that from Kenya and I think I've talked to the professor and I think he's trying to find various arrangements for how that will be possible. I also have an on-campus on job um, that I use to um, support myself and also sometimes my family. Um, and so, I'll, um, so I won't be able to do that while I'm still in Kenya. Um, so yeah, so I just have to get used to um, this new um, um, environment. Actually, my mom got really worried because she uh, was just reading news in China about how cases are, <laughs> there are just increased number of cases in the U.S. So she got really worried and then she asked me whether I needed any masks because apparently you can't, there's no place that you can buy any masks here, but she got some extra in China. So she's like, the situation is getting better in China. So if you need any masks, I can send you some. If I get infected, I, I'm here by myself and there's, I don't have any relatives living in the U.S. And obviously because my parents are in China, they can't come over. So if anything happens, then there will be no one to help in a sense, in that sense. <laughs> 